For me, I consider my collaborations at partner schools with teacher colleagues and children, pre-service teachers and families as forms of collective activism and advocacy. In those partnerships, I relish the opportunity to strive together with others toward justice and against oppression in the local spaces we share, as well as supporting each other and navigating the impacts of national and global politics and policies now more than ever. I think of activism as occurring in the day-to-day -day interactions and relationships that recognize, respect, and advocate for children and the knowledges they live. When I think about what it takes to cultivate coalitions and collaborations with schools and communities, I think first about presence. It sounds so obvious to say you have to be present in tangible, visible ways, but of course it is far from simple within the many demands of academic and personal lives. Being present and building trusting relationships with partners is made more possible by shifting as much of work life as possible into community spaces of collaboration, relocating courses into schools and communities, truly inviting collaborators in schools and communities to engage together in inquiry and pedagogy in responsive ways. This year's theme and its emphasis on an ethos and praxis of love puts wonderful language to such a fueling dimension of the relationships that are the beating heart of the work so many literacy scholars pursue. There's no other word for those relationships than love, and love unfolds through deep listening, time spent in laughter over shared meals, celebrating lives, weddings, births, watching each other's kids grow, learning about each other's partners, and really getting to know each other's passions, joys, and heartbreaks. And love is also being fiercely there for one another. Mm -hmm.